new setup. Finally, I got my furniture, so that's my desk right there. I got another one right here. I'm probably gonna set up from this point on moving forward. Let me know what do you think about the setup. Anyway, guys, in this video, I have some news. I don't think they are good news because this one is gonna be a follow-up video regarding the uh, new APS-C camera rumor that we covered a couple of days ago. So apparently Sony is coming out with a camera very soon. That's gonna be another APS-C camera. Now, a lot of the things that I'm gonna say in this video are gonna be a little bit disappointing, but you know, Sony Alpha rumor has confirmed at 100% because they have seen the camera. I don't know if they have seen it physically or someone sent them picture but that the camera is not gonna be what we thought the camera was going to be. So if you're interested about this brand new camera from Sony APS-C, stick around, all that information coming right up. And welcome back to the channel, guys. And if this is your first time here, first of all, welcome to the channel. I do gear reviews, tutorials behind the scene, and I've been covering a lot of rumors like this one. So if you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel, enable those notifications for more content like this one. And of course, if you enjoy it, thumb up, you know, I really appreciate that. So back to the rumor, because we actually spoke about a camera that may be actually an upgrade from whatever Sony has done in the APS-C world. We talked about better sensor, we talked about better video codecs and improvements in the camera. But apparently that's not the case because Sony Alpha Rumor confirms at 100% that this camera A is going to have the same 24 megapixel sensor. B, that the camera is not going to be a high-end camera and instead it's going to be uh, catered to vloggers. And that the camera is going to have also a smaller body. And with these three pieces of information, we pretty much see a pattern right here. Sony has done this already twice. Once uh, with the Sony ZV-1, which was kind of like a rehouse from the RX100. They uh, added a flip out screen. They reconfigured some of the buttons, um, you know, to cater for the vlogging experience. I have it right here. And, you know, they pretty much called it a day. Now, the second time that they did this was with the Sony A7C. And the Sony A7C was pretty much, you know, another camera rehoused in a different body, but pretty much the guts were the same from the Sony A7 III with a little bit faster processor and the real-time tracking. And once again, you know, the experience is more suited for vloggers. So now they have one-inch sensor, full-frame cameras, and now APS-C line of cameras for vloggers. So apparently vloggers are definitely paying the bills you know at sony and they just want to make sure that they have a camera with every single sensor they make and this is what we're going to have guys now we don't have a word regarding the codex the video codex but i'm assuming that if this is the case you know based on what happened already twice with these two other cameras that I just mentioned we are going to have 4k 30 you know at 8 bit and i don't think this is going to excite a lot of people out there it's going to be just another camera. Maybe it's going to be a little bit smaller. Um, Sony Alpha Rumors is saying that it's going to be kind of like in between an A5000 and an A6000. So, yes, I mean, having a smaller camera may be better for some people. But, you know, all the vloggers that I know, they actually film with full frame. And uh, Sony is insisting with smaller bodies. Now, I want to show you this camera right here. This one is the Ricoh GR or Ricoh GR Mark III. This camera is actually pretty damn small. I'm gonna compare with the uh, ZV-1 so you can actually, you know, get an idea of this camera. It's actually thinner than the um, ZV-1. Now this camera is actually APS-C and I think that if Sony can actually do something like this camera, you know, super compact, of course this one has a built-in uh, lens, but the uh, new camera apparently is going to be an e-mount camera, so you're going to be able to put your own lens. But if they can do something so small, maybe something that has, you know, the newer battery, I hope they don't go back to the small battery. Please do not do that. I think the Sony may have something there. I personally am not even going to bother with that camera. Um, you know, I would try to review one, you know, from the camera store or something like that. But, you know, I was looking for, you know, a high-end APS-C camera, and this one doesn't seem to be the case. Now, apparently this launch is gonna happen, or this announcement is gonna happen a week from now, so I guess, you know, you guys are gonna see that camera pretty soon. I'm pretty bummed about reporting and making a video about this, but, you know, why not? 
You wanted to hear more? Here we go. So guys, let me know what you think about this brand new camera. Do you think the Sony will upgrade the video codecs? You know, do you think it is time to actually make an APS-C camera with 10-bit? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you vlog a lot that we need so many vlogging cameras. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.